I'm Deepak Chopra. You're watching One World with Deepak Chopra. We're coming to you today from Deepak Home Base in uh, New York City. And my very special guest um, is Nick Kristoff. Uh, we're going to talk uh, in a little while about his book, A Path Appears, Transforming Lives, Creating Opportunity. Uh, he's written this book with his wife, uh, Cheryl Woodon. Woodan. 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 And uh, they, of course, are authors of the other bestseller, uh, Half the Sky. We're going to get to this book first, but this is a great opportunity for me to talk about one of the living legends in the world of journalism. And uh, I want to get to know him, and I want to show, share what we get to know him uh, about him with you as well. So, Nick, first of all, thank you very much for coming here. I'm delighted. You know, you're a, you're a big deal in the world of journalism. Uh, uh, you're one of the few people, husband and wife team, who won uh, the Pulitzer. And uh, I can't do anything without Cheryl, as you see. <laughs> I can't, you know, win a prize, well, can't write a book. <laughs> yeah, but you, you were doing a lot before you met Cheryl, too. So I want to go a little bit um, into the backstory. Where did you grow up? So I grew up on a farm out in Oregon, uh, a, a sheep and cherry farm out in the, out at the very edge of the Willamette Valley in Oregon. And um, uh, it was really a, kind of a wonderful uh, childhood. And uh, I began writing for a local uh, newspaper there as soon as I turned 16 and got my driver's license. And I thought, wow, this is so much fun. And I mean, I'm getting paid to go talk to interesting people and write about it. And um, you know, what better way to impress girls in my high school than to <laughs> write articles? So it um, it was just a, it really you know got me addicted to journalism. And, very uh, early on. Very early on. You know, I have to share a secret with most people don't know. When I was in school, junior high school, in India, an Irish Christian missionary school, my best friend. Uh, you know, we were all asked, "What do you want to do when you grow up?" And I had no idea. Uh, his name was Opu, he was from Assam, and he was the best writer in the class, and he wanted to be a journalist. So I grew up inspired by him, and my dad was a physician, and he always wanted to be, to be a physician. So um, I didn't want to do that, I wanted to go into journalism. At the age of 14, my father gave me all these books uh, where the writers were all physicians, you know, some oh, said mom, et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> Uh, Sinclair Lewis, all about right. physicians. So I got diverted. You got diverted. I got diverted. Into, well, but now I do medical based writing. It has a better business model than journalism these oh, days. Oh, so. uh, you're doing very <laughs> well, sir. So then you, you were actually also editing the Harvard Crimson, right? Yeah. Um, I was, so from my uh, farm in Oregon, 